So let's talk about this property color. Now, some CSS styles are easy to follow. Some of them are a little tricky. It's good to start with the color one because it's not exactly what you think. The color property only changes the text of the element. We have a different property called background color, which more specifically only targets the background color. But this one, it's not called text color, it's just called color and you just kind of have to know or remember that it only affects the text. So let's try creating one. So by this point, you should feel comfortable creating an H1 um, and, or an H3. And that's gonna be the first instruction for this lesson. Now I kind of have it broken up where the challenge itself is going to be these steps. But I kind of show you the steps as if you were doing it right away. The format really isn't important. What's important is getting um, the feel or the muscle memory of how to create these tags. So I've broken, down, broken it down step by step. And then when we get to the challenge, we'll be able to complete it using pretty much the same steps, but just when you get to the challenge, there'll be instructions there that are specific to that. But my whole point is that they're often the same or similar enough. So reading this first line, the first thing you need to do is create an H3 with your name. So I have one written down here. Let's just see how that would look. Create an H3. Hold on. And Lenny Roy. And I close my H3. Okay. The next step is you need a style tag. Now we went over it, but it's good to, to get some practice. You could start writing yours down here, but I would wait for the challenge, like I said before. So we create our H3 tag, and the next thing we do is create a style tag. See how it's actually helping me out in my code editor. It can be confusing for the newbie, but just keep in mind that sometimes you don't have to write out the ending. It's going to autocomplete for you. You'll find that in Glitch, it not only autocompletes, it skips a line. I wish I knew how to turn that off, but just be mindful that the, the code editor is often trying to help you out, trying to make you type less. Not good for the newbie because it's good to type everything out, so just keep in mind. Let me just show you what I mean. I was typing out style, and right as I finished and started my next one, it immediately assumed that I wanted to create a closing tag, which I did. Then I just gave myself some room to work. Okay, step three. Inside of the style tag, you'll need to reference the tag you wish to change. In this case, the H3, right? This is the one that we want to affect. So we reference it. Inside of our style tag, we write H3. And we write our brackets. And just like in the previous video, it, it connected like this. But here's what you want to see. A nice space per rule. And we want to tell the computer a rule. We're back to talking to the computer. H3, I want you to change the color of the H3 to red. Ah, I got ahead of myself. The next thing you're going to do is define the property of that selected element that you wish to change, in this case, the color property. So let's write our color property. You see that it auto-completed my semicolon right after I wrote the colon. And lastly, you want to define the value of the property, which in this color is, which for the property of color is the value of red. All right, but you could do blue, yellow, whatever, whatever. And here's how it should finally look. Let's see if ours matches this. Yes, it does. We have our H3, our style tag, boom, our H3 reference, our brackets, and our color red. And here's how it should look. It looks like that's an, uh, an H3. Go ahead and hit the uh, HTML panel to bring out the code. And let's do the challenge. So again, you give yourself some space. In a little bit, we're going to be moving on to having some of our challenges in CodePen and some of our challenges in Glitch. Just an FYI. So. Here's the challenge. We're pretty much doing what we just did, but we're going to do it here in the code pen. So your answer is going to show up right down here. So let's try this. Create an H3. We create an H3. Doesn't matter what's in it, but go ahead and put down your name. And we should see it appear. So it is, it is already the color red. Looks like I have a reference to it up here. 
but we're changing it to blue so we're good we don't have to change anything by default it's red because I referenced it up here but don't worry about that all you're seeing for the challenge is right here and the Lenny Roy that you just wrote is red and we're gonna create a style tag right underneath so what do we do we write our style tag and then we write our closing one and we give ourselves some room inside of the style tag we want to reference the element that we want to change in this case the h3 pop quiz if i change this color to blue will the earlier one change to blue as well i'll give you a few seconds i think it will since they're both red right now when i tell the computer hey all h3s turn blue it's going to be the last thing on the file and we know that it reads it from top to bottom so at some point it's going to say change the h3s to red but at the end it's going to say well change my mind change it to blue and because it's the last css rule we've written it will be the one that takes precedence let's move on add a color properties the next challenge so we do we add our color and unlike in sublime where it auto completed for me you're going to have to write your colon in code pen then write your value and then a semicolon afterwards change the color of the text to blue so we write blue as our value semicolon and when we check both items should be blue so that's it for css color it changes the color of the text i will see you in the next lesson